Hello everyone, welcome to watch this video. Before I start my video, I want to ask you some questions. Are you often wondering about the correct linking word to express a cause and effect relationship? Are you uncertain how to use expressions? In this video, we are going to review words and expressions that join two causes with a cause effect relationship such as therefore, as a result, and consequently. We will look at how they join two clauses to each other. Have you received the following feedback when you get your writing from teachers? For example, your line of thinking is unclear. How do these points relate to the question? Or you have presented some good information but its relevance is unclear. If you have received the above feedback, that means you haven't used enough transition words in your writing. Then, you may ask, why do we need to use transitions? Basically, using transitions will make your writing easier to understand by providing connections between paragraphs or between sentences within a paragraph. A transition can be a word, phrase, or sentence in longer words, they can even be a whole paragraph. The goal of a transition is to clarify for your readers exactly how your ideas are connected. They remind your readers of what they just read and then tell what will come next. By doing so, transitions help your writing feel like a unified whole. The transition words sound important then when to use transitions. Transitions allow us to be more precise about the relationships between statements in a sentence or between sentences. The first way to use transitions, we can use it between paragraphs. Using transition word or phrase will highlight the relationship that exists between two paragraphs or we can use transitions within paragraphs. These tend to be single words or short phrases that help the reader follow your line of thought. Transition words help you connect the ideas in a sentence. In this video, we will focus on some common transition words to express causes and results. They are as a result, therefore, and consequently. These words are more formal and are more commonly used in written English. By using these transition words, you can tell the readers that this sentence contains a logical conclusion to the line of thinking or arguments. After telling so many advantages of using transition words, then how can we use these words in a sentence? Let me show you some examples. Catherine has been staying up late watching TV. As a result, she is getting pimples on her face and dark circles under her eyes. Some students are overly concerned about their physical appearance. Consequently, they spend so much time and money on clothes and makeup. Some people develop allergies after using certain skincare products. Therefore, we should do some research before buying a new product. The above three transition words are formal and they are all used in a similar way. When you use these connectives, remember to put a comma after them. So let's do some exercise. Use the linking word therefore to formulate the same idea as the original sentence containing so. That means you have to form your sentence by using therefore. Okay, let me share my answer with you. Your answer can be, our prices are highly competitive. The stop, therefore, comma. We cannot offer any discounts. Or you can punctuate differently. Our prices are highly competitive. Semicolon. Therefore, comma, we cannot offer any discounts. These two answers are both correct. 
So let's do another exercise. Use the linking word consequently to formulate the same idea as the original sentence containing so. That means you have to include consequently in your sentence. Okay, let me share my sentence to you. Your answer can be, they are short of stuff this week. Put stop, consequently, comma, they are behind with orders. Notice the put stop and comma. And now, let's get the alternative punctuations. They are short of stuff this week, semicolon, consequently, comma. They are behind with orders. I hope you know how to use transition words to discuss causes and results. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.